welcome back to our channel. Again, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, viewing all our videos. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Today's case, as promised, is the Prince Harry and Meghan case. Now, we have already followed up on the Diana case. If you check in the comments of the Diana case as well, there's some other stories in there that ties in with some of the things in the spirit box, so don't forget to check it out. Um, but for today, it's Prince Harry and Meghan, and the next case after this is going to be Prince Andrew. So sit back, relax, I hope you enjoy it, and please comment, like, and subscribe. It makes a massive difference to us, and we're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, and it's all Christy readings across every platform. Enjoy! Harry was born on the 15th of September at St Mary's Hospital in the Lindo Wing, and now it's in Paddington in London. He was born at 4.20 in the afternoon. He was born to Princess Diana and Prince Charles. He was their second child, William was their oldest. His name is actually Henry Charles Albert David, but friends, family and the public and Kensington Palace all refer to Harry as Harry. <laughs> that Harry hit alongside his brother William was publicised um, when he started school. Now at the moment I'm going to just keep focusing on Harry, I would like to build a picture around that just because then it brings my predictions into why I think what I think alongside the case. It's a bit different, I don't know if we can call this a case. We did focus on Diana in the last case which is our previous video so please go back and check that if you haven't. Um, but in this instance, I'm going to focus a little bit on Harry's childhood to get into his later years, just to build a picture, and then we'll come on to the Meghan and Harry side. Harry's mother and father divorced in 1996, but from her previous case, you will know that they were separated a few years before that as well. In 97, Harry lost his mum. Um, again, in the previous video, I'm not going to add footage of that. We've did it in the previous case. At this point, he was just about to go to school to go to Eton. And also a very influential age at that time. I think even at that point, you could see that Harry was a less confident child. Harry joined the army in May 2005 and he was known as Officer Cadet Wales. Now in April 2006, Harry completed his officer training and was commissioned as a cornet. Now that's like a second lieutenant, but in April 2008, because of two years of service, he was promoted then to a lieutenant. Again, a man who's fought for his own country. It's Harry as you've never seen him before, back on the front line. This has been my office, it's quite cramped. I'm whatever I am, 6'2". Um, my knees are up against the screens the whole time, I'm not complaining. We fire when we have to, take a life to save a life. Essentially, you know, we're more of a deterrent than anything else. Harry loves being an Apache pilot. Here, he's just one of the guys. This is my bed. He sleeps where they sleep, eats where they eat. It's very easy to, to, to completely forget about who I am when I'm in the army. I am one of the guys. I don't get treated any differently. 
But his life isn't really all that normal at all. He's on the front lines fighting the war on terror. He's the trigger man, the gunner, as it's called, of the fearsome Apache. His job is hunting down the Taliban and eliminating the enemy. If there's people trying to do bad stuff to our guys, then you know we'll, we'll, we'll take them out of the game, I suppose. And then there's the reminder that he is, well, a prince. A week after Harry arrived, his base was... It nearly end up out in Iraq. It was decided on the 22nd of February 2007 that Harry would then go out to, or be deployed to Iraq, but and it was going to happen in June 2007, but in May 2007 it was decided he wouldn't be deployed to Iraq due to the fact he would be a high target, so it would mean then that he would be putting other soldiers and military bases at risk by being there. So it was decided then at that point that obviously he wouldn't be deployed. But again, it just shows you that man's bravery. And what he said in the previous clip around he forgets who he is when he's out there, I psychically get that that suits Harry. Um, we've got to remember as well, neither William or Harry asked to be born into this life and they are totally ridiculed at times for the life that they live or the things that they do. But we sometimes forget that they never had the choice in the first place. We need to show some sort of compassion for that. It was decided in October 2008 that Harry would follow the footsteps of his brother, his father and his uncle to fly the military helicopters. Now, Harry was awarded, awarded his Apache badge on the 14th of April 2011. And the 7th of September 2012, Harry then was deployed to Afghan as a co-pilot and a gunner now, he qualified in 2013 and 15th of March 2015, Harry left the army to concentrate on other things. Now, Harry also had some ladies attached round about him um, through these times as well. I'm not going to get into that today purposely because it's quite irrelevant to what we're looking at alongside Harry and Meghan. So, again, what I do feel is there was one, two names connected to Harry that I feel stood out. Caroline Flack was one. I don't feel there was anything there whatsoever, but I do feel Ellie Golden and Harry shared something quite special. July 2016 is when Harry met Meghan Markle. Now, the relationship was kept out of the public eye for quite a while because they didn't appear in public till September 2017. Um, they appeared at the Invictus Games in Toronto. Now, their engagement was announced by Prince Charles in November 2017. Now, straight away, even seeing the timeline here, again, they have probably had a lot of time on their own before anything came out round about it. Congratulations from all of us. How are you both feeling? And Megan, how are you feeling? And tell us, how did you propose? Was it romantic? Megan and Harry were married on the 19th of May 2018 at St George's Chapel in Windsor. Now at this point, the media were very positive towards the couple in very good spirits about the royal wedding, as the media always is. Although they'd received a little bit of backlash, I think at this point Harry had already requested um, certain things with the media. Obviously, things had come out about Meghan and Markle's dad as well. But overall, the media were still being quite positive. Um, I think Meghan was becoming more trolled than what Harry was. But there was a lot of stories coming out at that time that would explain why Megan was being spoke about so much. The fact her father was writing letters and speaking with the media. So we have to bear that in mind as well. If we're feeding the media, we can't blame the media at that point. Her veil, she had every single flower of the Commonwealth, all 53 floral emblems of the Commonwealth embroidered onto her veil, which is a lovely touch. I think it's probably why the, the veil was so long. They had to incorporate every nation of the Commonwealth. <laughs> Um, and it's a very nice touch. It's slightly redolent of the Queen's coronation gown. That had all the emblems of the Commonwealth. But of course, in those days, the Commonwealth only had... On the 6th of May 2019, Harry and Meghan had a son named Archie. Now, once Archie was born, the office was moved to Buckingham Palace, but then it was officially closed on the 31st of March 2020. 
now they stopped taking official engagements at this point as well. Now that is when they went to Canada, but what I will pick up on this is, in the media at that point, they had said that Kate and Megan had had a fallout to do with a flower girl dress. I will bring it up in my conclusion. I'm not bypassing that bit. I just don't want to put too much negativity into this video because I'm very aware this video is the case of Harry and them with Megan as well. So I don't want to put anything that's not fact um, within the video, but I do believe that a part of that will be out in the conclusion as well. Just want to share with, with us the world. Uh, yes, um, I'm very excited to announce that uh, Megan and myself had a baby boy um, early this morning, a very healthy boy. Um, mother and baby are doing incredibly well. Um, it's been the most amazing experience <laughs> I could ever um, possibly imagine. Um, how any woman does what they do is beyond comprehension, but we're both absolutely thrilled um, and so grateful to all the love and support for everybody out there. Um, from everybody out there, it's been um, it's been amazing. So we just wanted to share this with everybody. And what about names? Are you still thinking about names? Still thinking about names, Alan. Um, it's uh, yeah, the baby's a little bit overdue, so we've had a little bit of time to think about it. But um, yeah, we're still. That's that's the, that's the next bit. But for us, I think we'll be seeing you guys in probably two days' time, as planned, um, as a family, to be able to share it with you guys and so everyone can see the baby. When Harry and Meghan took the decision to step down as senior royals, now, annually, Harry was given off Prince Charles every year, 2.3 million. Now, it was part of the income from the Duchess of Cornwall. But also, at this point, he'd also inherited 12.9 million between him and William for Diana's death. And by 2014, that money was sitting at 10 million each for both of them. So it puts you in the picture where Harry's finances are. Um, imagine getting 2.3 million for your dad every year. <laughs> oh, I tell you, we slagged Prince Charles off, but I wish he was my dad. He has dedicated his life to a lot of charity work as well, whether it be war veterans, children's charities. He is the founder of a few charities as well. We're about to head into the conclusion. Um, I don't want to go into the petty side of what the media have said, what's correct, what's not correct. I'm very interested to do the spirit box with this case as well, but I'm also very intrigued to do my own conclusion. I've watched this play out. I have said in a previous case, I am not with Megan and Harry and I've not been against them. Doing this case today, I'm looking in at the final parts at the moment, up until present, right now. Um, what we will do is, we will do the spirit box, we will ask the questions that the media are saying and what the media are asking as well, just to make it more interesting to see if there's anything else going to come through. I am going to be using a different type of spirit box today. All right, now we'll see how this goes, but if not, we will rely on our lovely old one as well. So let's see how we go. The Royals took Harry's private security pretty quickly. In fact, it said that he didn't even know when it was happening. By the sounds of it, he has been shunned by the royal family. But also on that note as well, the British public, people have had a lot of view on this case and on the Meghan and Harry because of the royal family. A lot of people feel that, again, they're part of the monarchy. They want to be have their opinion because they think that they have watched Harry grow up, which you can see in previous clips. Unfortunately, it is the case. But what we forget is this person didn't have the choice. This person didn't get the choice to decide what type of life they wanted to lead. When Harry went to Canada, he then went to America and he bought a house in June 2020 alongside Meghan Markle. Now again, they've done the Oprah Winfrey interview, which I'm not going to bring into this because it could bring again a lot of controversy, but I'm going to bring it all into my conclusion. What we'll do is we'll go into the conclusion now and then we'll go into the spirit box. <laughs> Are you with us, Spirit? Spirit, if you're with us, give us a sign that you're here.
Oh, what can I, guys? Just getting used to it, sort of that. Is anyone here with us? Spirit, if you're with us, give us a sign that you're here. If you're with us, use your voice or use my energy. Come on. What I'm going to do, just for good measure, I'm going to use my old spirit box, my good old faithful. Oh, here we go, it's still going, temperature. Still going temperature. Um, I think it is a good spirit box. I think it's just really learning how you work it properly. We've only had this a few days. I'll try once more. Good old faithful, otherwise, we'll be here um, all day. Thank you if you've watched to this point. It's funny how every time we use the spirit box, the device is green and battery and energy every single time. Every single time. Um, the spirit box, I know it's very hard to hear, it's not performing well today. I'll give it that, but it's going to be amazing. We are going on a ghost hunt at Hall well, I'm not going to tell you where actually just yet. Um, but it is in Scotland and it is in Halloween night and we'll be using this as well as the meter. I also have another spirit box um, and I'll be leaving them in different locations within location and I'll be putting them on live videos through my Facebook, my Instagram, my TikTok, things like that. So again, we can see this working in proper action. It's because it's at home. There is not much activity in here other than the activity I already know about. Right, let's get started. Spirit, if you're with us, give us a sign that you're here. Do you have anything to tell us about Harry and Megan? Please comment below if you can hear what's been said. Haunted. What's haunted spirit? Why did Megan and Harry leave the UK? 
Does Megan know any of the royal secrets? I'm going to give you this. I've got a lady coming through in Spirit Connects by Meghan Markle that tells me that I'll just give it. Somebody has a boat and something snapped in two, but I don't know why. Um, what would you like me to play, Spirit? Comment below if you can hear anything that I don't. Just like you can. Spirit, can you tell me if Megan and Harry's marriage will last? What's next for Harry and Megan? What will the media report about Harry and Megan? Will Harry and William become closer as brothers again? Spirit, can you tell me the criminals of the royal family? Finally, um, my conclusion on this is that I don't feel Megan holds any royal secrets or that was the reason why she left. I do feel she always set the intention that she would want her and Harry to have the life that they both want. What I do feel is the media are now saying that Megan's calling all the shots. I've read some false media around. Again, Harry's got a black eye and some physical challenges. I don't see anything like that at all around the relationship. I feel they're very, very much in love and there are a couple that are in love that are fighting the world at the moment because we live in a society, we live in a world where we think we should hold an opinion 
of everyone, um, including the monarchy, which again, in some respect, it is the case because we have all grew up watching these people as well. We automatically think that we know them, but I think that's what the biggest problem is here. I want to say I don't see William and Harry ever being close. Um, I don't see a divorce on either boy's side at all. Both boys will stay committed to marriage. What I do feel with Harry is that he's in the big A for a reason. Um, I'm a strong believer in like for like, and I feel that he's over in America for a good reason. For him, I feel that he wanted to be normal, and this was his first kind of escapism as normal. I feel Megan was the first person that actually stood in Harry's toes a little bit and made him see that she wasn't scared to stand up to him, not that he was doing anything untoward, but I feel that he likes that about her. I also feel that the Oprah Winfrey interview, I feel it was genuine, but I do feel Megan's reactions to things was a little hypersensitive, where she might have looked at them the wrong way with certain things. I want to say around the racism side, um, I psychically do believe that it was the case that there was some sort of discrimination or racism um, within the monarchy or the establishment, as they would don't call it. I don't think we will ever see Harry and Meghan's children um, grown up. I feel they are going to stick to that end of the deal. I want to say that I feel something's going to come out towards January, February regarding Harry and Meghan, which will then bring another split opinion around something. My question is, this man fought for our country. He served in the army for 10 years. What type of media do we have in the UK? If Whether he's made decisions that he's leaving the UK or not, do we not have any appreciation and gratitude for the fact that that man fought for our country for 10 years? We, He's decided he doesn't really want the prince life and we are judging him on that but we would judge somebody on wanting to keep that life as well. Hypocrisy at its highest. I think this couple will last the pace. What I do feel is there'll be another baby news at coming the end of next year. I want to say we might hear of another fallout or some sort of political decision based around Harry and William getting into March time next year. Possibly could be with the things that are coming out within the monarchy. I do feel Harry will do another interview and I feel James Corden's going to be part of it as well going into summer next year, which will highlight the monarchy. I sadly have said this before, but I sadly believe that due to Harry's movement, and I feel William knows this, I feel William is very focused on being king. And I do feel that the monarchy is going to collapse before William does become king. And I feel he already knows that. And I feel this is where the whole jealousy starts. I feel William is very like Charles, whether I feel Harry is very like Diana. Obviously, in our previous case, James Hewitt was brought up that possibly could be Harry's father. Again, I won't make any comment on it, but I will leave a photo of a divider in later life and just get your opinion. Comment below. Comment below. below. Sorry, and tell me what you think. Thank you so much for wa watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, our next case is the Prince Andrew case, and I cannot wait to do that one. Um, I'm quite straight to the point anyway, but if you've been on my Facebook or my Instagram or any other platforms, you'll probably already know what my take is on this. Um, but until next time, thank you for watching. Please stay safe and take care and enjoy your October week.